Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is power MOSFET. We'll discuss the construction and working of N-channel E MOSFET. E means enhancement type. And we know that MOSFET is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. First, we'll discuss the symbol of this device. It has three major terminals, gate terminal G, source terminal S and drain terminal D. Two important parameters related to this device is it is voltage control device. By applying voltage between gate and source, we can control the conduction of de this device. So it is called voltage control device. And second parameter is in this device, the flow of current is due to majority charges. So it is also called unipolar device. Now let us discuss the construction of this device. As shown in this diagram, it consists of P-type substrate. Substrate is also called body. Two heavily doped N plus regions. These two regions are deposited on this P-type of substrate and metal connections are taken out. This is source terminal. This is drain terminal. This terminal is gate terminal. I have shown SiO2 layer. SiO2 layer is used to isolate gate terminal from this P-type of substrate. VDD is the voltage applied to drain terminal through load resistance RL. VGS indicates voltage between gate and source and observe this connection positive of this VGS is connected to gate terminal. Now this is the construction of this device. Let us discuss working of this device. Initially we will open circuit this that means we will keep VGS is equal to 0. VGS is 0 means this part is open circuited. But VDD is connected, positive of VDD is connected to this N plus region. Below N plus region, there is a P-type substrate to so this line acts as junction between N plus and P region. So it is PN junction and N is connected to positive uh, terminal of VDD. So this will form reverse bias junction. Due to re reverse bias, there will not be any flow of current. Now, after that, we will connect this VGS. So VGS positive terminal of this is connected to the gate terminal. So if VGS is positive, there will be formation of depletion region. Question arises, what is depletion region and how it is formed? Look, here is a positive connection. P-type substrate, mein, there are holes as well as electrons. Due to this positive connection, Electrons will try to attract, try to move towards this gate terminal. This is shown by negative sign. Whereas holes which are contained in P substrate will try to repel, will try to move away from gate terminal. So it will form the depletion region. So as VGS goes on increasing, N channel is formed. What does this mean? See, depletion region is formed. As you go on increasing VGS, the number of electrons which are moving towards this gate terminal will go on increasing. In technical language, we can say that concentration of electrons will start increasing. Due to this, a channel is formed between these two N plus regions. This is called N channel. So as VGS increases, N channel is formed. As we discussed, we have to go on increasing this value. There is one typical value that is called VGST. That is VGS threshold value. Once this value is reached, the channel is formed and conduction of current start taking place as shown in this diagram. So current through RL will flow like this. This is about the construction and working of N-channel EMOSFET. Now we will discuss steady state characteristics. There are two types of characteristics. One is transfer characteristic and another is output characteristic. This is the circuit diagram which is used to obtain the transfer and output characteristic. Which this, this part we have already discussed. This is the symbol of P MOSFET. This is gate terminal, drain terminal and source terminal. The voltage between drain and source is VDS. Similarly, voltage between gate and source is VGS. To the drain terminal, one voltage source is connected that is VDD. This resistance is RL that is load resistance and corresponding current is ID that is drain current. At this side, VG is the voltage connected to the gate terminal through some resistance R. Now first part is, first plot is 
ट्रांसफर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इट इज ग्राफ ऑफ आईडी दैट इज ड्रेन करंट वर्सेस वीजीएस डू रिमेंबर वीजीएस इज वोल्टेज बिटवीन गेट एंड सोर्स देर इज वन टिपिकल वैल्यू व्हिच इज कॉल्ड वीजीएस टी इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ वीजीएस इज लेस देन वीजीएस टी मतलब इस ग्राफ में देखो ये जीरो है फॉर दिस पोर्शन वैल्यू ऑफ वीजीएस ऑन दिस एक्सेस वे आर प्लॉटिंग वीजीएस वैल्यू ऑफ वीजीएस इज लेस देन वीजीएसटी ये वीजीएसटी का लेवल है देन पी मॉस्पेट इज इन कट ऑफ कंडीशन आफ्टर दैट वंस द वैल्यू ऑफ वीजीएस बिकम्स मोर देन वीजीएसटी द ग्राफ इंक्रीजेस लीनियरली लाइक दिस सो दिस इज द ट्रांसफर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ पी मॉस्पेट नेक्स्ट इज आउटपुट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इट इज ग्राफ ऑफ आई डी वर्सेस वी डी एस डू रिमेंबर दिस इज डी एस दैट मीन्स वोल्टेज बिटवीन ड्रेन एंड सोर्स आई डी इज द ड्रेन करंट there are different graphs shown in this diagram so this is graph of id versus vds for different values of vgs vgs1 vgs2 vgs3 and so on this is the zero point or starting point on this x axis we are plotting vds so let us say up to this point that means from zero up to this point we have lower range or lower values of vds so this particular region where values of vds are lower is called ohmic region after that whatever region you are getting is active region now jaise maine bataya ye alag alag values humne consider kiye vgs ke so vgs1 vgs2 vgs3 and so on for any value if you are talking about lower range of vds in the lower range the value of id y axis pe hum log id mark kar rahe hain value of id increases linearly like this so i have written for lower vds graph is linear and you are getting constant on resistance this value is rds is vds upon id yaad kaise rakhna hai equation bahut simple hai you are getting constant on resistance because it is increasing linearly we know that any resistance is basically voltage upon current so rds is vds upon current id then for given vgs matlab ek koi bhi vgs ka value consider karenge let us say i will consider vgs2 for given vgs initially the graph is linear As you go on increasing VDS, जैसे ये ग्राफ देख लो हम लोग वीडियस इंक्रीज करेंगे स्टिल आई डी डज नॉट इंक्रीजिंग इट इज रिमेनिंग कॉन्स्टंट सो वॉट वी रिटर्न फॉर गिवन वीजीएस इफ वीडियस इंक्रीजेस दिस अपर्ड आर इंडिकेट वैल्यू इज इंक्रीजिंग इफ वीडियस इंक्रीजेस आउटपुट इज फ्लैट दैट मीन्स आई डी इज कॉन्स्टंट देन फ्रेन ड्रिवन विथ लार्ज वीजीएस अगर हम लोग वीजीएस का वैल्यू बढ़ा देंगे देन पे मॉस्पेट विल बी स्विच नॉट लुक एट दिस डायग्राम whenever this p mosfet is switched on this voltage vds is very small this is called on voltage matlab p mosfet switch on karne ke baad voltage between drain and source will be small this is called on voltage which is denoted by vds on so we have written that when driven with large vgs p mosfet is on and corresponding value is vds which is very small in this case the p mosfet acts as a closed switch ab dekho we are talking about lower range of vds and when vds is uh, and, and when p mosfet is on then this is the region corresponding to ohmic so aise yaad rakhna hai when p mosfet is on then vds on is very small vds ka value small hai matlab i am talking about this range which is ohmic region so in this case the p mosfet is acting as a closed switch next we already discussed this is the typical value of vgst if value of vgs is less than vgst then there will be the cut off region so in the ohmic region value increases linearly in the active region even if you increase vds id remains constant in the cut off region value of vgs is less than vgst and device is in cut off condition so this is about the steady state characteristics of p mosfet next part is get to source drive circuit from exam point of view we may expect the direct question like uh, draw and explain the circuit diagram of get to source driver circuit so this is the symbol of power mosfet which we already discussed this is get terminal source terminal and drain terminal rd is the resistance connected to drain terminal vdd is the supply voltage which is connected to drain terminal 
at the input set we have a voltage vg two external components are shown that is r1 and c1 before that we will discuss one important concept between gate and source there is existence of internal capacitor matlab gate or source terminal ke beech mein capacitor exist hota hai that capacitor is internal capacitor which is denoted by cgs capacitance between gate and source these components r1 and c1 which are connected externally these components helps for faster charging of this capacitance cgs so it will reduce the turn on time of this device now whenever the supply is connected vg is connected initially the current flows like this the current start flowing through rs then through capacitance c1 and then through capacitance cgs this is the initial flow of current once the charging of c1 and cgs is completed that means once the capacitor c1 and cgs gets fully charged then the flow of current will be through rs then through r1 and through rg like this in this case whatever the current is flowing that is denoted by igss that is ig is the gate current ss represents steady state gate current अब देखो ये फॉर्मूले याद नहीं रखना है सिंपल ट्रिक याद रखना है करंट इज बेसिकली वोल्टेज अपॉन रेजिस्टेंस व्हाट आई सेड एक बार ये सी वन और सीजीएस का चार्जिंग कंप्लीट होगा उसके बाद करंट विल फ्लो थ्रू आर एस आर वन एंड आर जी सो करंट इज वोल्टेज अपॉन रेजिस्टेंस सो सिंपली वी कैन राइट अवेलेबल वोल्टेज इज वी जी अपॉन एडिशन ऑफ ऑल रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज आर एस प्लस आर वन प्लस आर जी सो इट इज आर एस प्लस आर वन प्लस आर जी now the voltage between gate and source that is vgs which is equals to look at this diagram this voltage between gate and source is voltage drop across rg so it is igs that means this entire equation as it is into resistance rg so this is the equation of voltage drop you you just have to put this equation as it is into rg will be the voltage vgs now let us discuss the switching characteristics of power mosfet i have drawn three graphs first graph is graph of vg that is gate voltage versus time period t we know that to turn on the power mosfet we need to apply certain amount of voltage at the gate terminal let us say this voltage is v1 and we will consider that this voltage v1 is applied till time period t1 that means from 0 to t1 applied voltage at the gate is v1 next is the graph of vgs vgs is get to source voltage versus time period t ab is graph mein alag alag notations use kiye let us discuss it in detail ye v1 jo value hai this is the ideal value which is same as the value of uh, uh, vg which is shown in the first graph graph of vgs will start from zero we have discussed the significance of term vgst this is the threshold voltage below this voltage the device will be switched off so the time period from 0 to vgst up to this point is denoted by tdn where tdn is turn on delay time this is the time period you can then correlate it like this this is the time period required for internal capacitance cgs hum logo ne discuss kiya hai this is the time period required for internal capacitance to charge from 0 to vgst this is about tdn that is turn on a delay time next time period is tr which is a rise time tr is the rise time which is the time period required to change the value from vgst to vgsp what is this vgsp certain sufficient amount of voltage is required so that the device will be switched on so this value is vgsp so we can say rise time is the time period required to change the voltage from vgst to vgsp the third graph is the graph of drain current you can well say like this during this rise time the drain current starts from zero and attains maximum value so this is the significance of rise time now ideally after rise time the device will be switched on and it will attain the voltage v1 
Now at time t1, this voltage is made zero. That means whenever the gate voltage is made zero, the device will be switched off. So similar to TDN, at this end, we have denoted the corresponding time period by TDF, where TDF is turn off delay time. You can well say like this, this is the time period required to change the voltage from V1, this is the level of V1, V1 to VGSP or in another language, during this time period, the capacitor discharges from V1, from V1 to VGSP. Next time is TF, it is same to that of TR, but it is in opposite direction. So TF is the fall time, which is the time required to change the value from VGSP to VGST. So this value required is to change the voltage from VGSP to VGST. This is about the fall time, which is similar to that of the rise time. Now, during fall time the or after the ending of this entire process the value of current id becomes zero so from the graph of id we can say that total turn on time will be addition of tdm and tr so t on is tdm plus tr same way turn off time will be addition of tdf that is turn off delay time plus tf that is fall time so this is about the switching characteristics of power MOSFET. Next part is SOA that is safe operating area. As the name indicates, to operate any particular device, a particular area will be mentioned. So that area gives us an idea about operating voltage, operating current and power dissipation. You should not uh, operate the device so that the values will exceed. In case of P-MOSFET, it is graph of IDM versus log of VDS. IDM is maximum value of drain current and VDS is drain to source voltage. We are taking logarithmic of this value. Now, ideal graph is like this. It is a square wave shaped graph. But there are two types of operations in case of P-MOSFET. One is DC operation. DC operation means you are operating the device continuously. That means you are allowing the device to go into the conduction mode in continuous fashion. In this case, the safe operating area is shown by this set, these shaded lines. So it indicates that this is the maximum value of drain current that is allowed. One more slant edge is drawn, which indicates value of Tj max limited. Tj is the junction temperature. So again, values depends on the corresponding junction temperature. There is one more type of operation which is pulsed operation. As the name indicates, we are not going to operate the device in continuous mode, but it is discontinuous mode. That means we are supposed to apply different pulses. For example, I have written three values, 100 millisecond, 10 millisecond, 1 millisecond. If I'm talking about 100 millisecond, the corresponding graph is like this. That means area gets increased compared to DC operation. Again, if you uh, reduce down the pulse width, if you make it 10 millisecond, again area increase. If you make it 1 millisecond, again area becomes maximum. That means as you go on reducing the pulse width from 100 to 10, then 10 to 1 millisecond, area goes on increasing. So this is about the safe operating area of power MOSFET. And that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.